Alright, so Circuit Superstars has been out for a week. I've been playing the heck out of it. And these are the things I hope they fix. Or maybe just a couple ideas I hope they implement into the game. Um, so maybe you can add some to this. And we can have a little discussion in the comments section about uh, things you would like changed or added on Circuit Superstars. Number one, this game needs a restart race option. There's been too many times where I start a race, the AI knocks me out into a wall and I lose like 20 health <laughs> on my little bar down there and I would love to just restart a race but I can't I have to completely quit and if you're in arcade mode and you're th on the third race and you go to quit um yeah you are out of the entire series and have to start over which brings me to my next little complaint is races don't have any saving between them if you back out of race number three on GT uh, because something comes up, you can't play anymore, you just need to exit out of the game, or let's say the power goes out, there's no saving, so if you are almost done with your championship, um, tough shit, because you have to come back and start all over, which isn't fun, I hope they add a restart race button, and I hope they have a save system, I mean, NES games had save systems towards the end of its lifespan, so 20 years later, we gotta have a, so, the game saves. We just need that added. Um, online racing needs to be fixed. This is my third little complaint. It's really hard to get into a race right now. I understand that it is uh, early access and I understand that online racing is in beta mode right now. But uh, let's not continue this trend where every single racing game that comes out has uh, piss poor multiplayer because I am tired of these racing games coming out and racing online is just non-existent it comes doa as soon as the game is released and i hate that i'm tired of these games being released without a functional multiplayer mode i mean how people are still playing forza motorsport 7 because some of these other games their their multiplayer is just shit and i'm I, I really want circuit superstars to succeed this game is charming and i love it and it's a lot of fun but uh this game will fall pretty short for me if there's no multiplayer if there's no online multiplayer Okay, so my fourth little complaint here is the AI is a little too aggressive and doesn't leave space when racing side by side during these races. I understand that, uh, you know, you want your AI to be pretty aggressive, but when I'm on the inside of a turn, they just turn right into me and spin me around. This happened quite a few times. This is honestly when I discovered that there was no safe system in between the races because the AI spun me around so many times in one race around Sugar Hill that I just left the... I got mad. I just backed out and I figured I'd come back later. Well, when I quit and I came back, you know, I had to start all the way over. So, the AI is incredibly aggressive in some spots and their difficulty is not really... that could be fine-tuned because in some cars I could beat it on Superstars mode and some cars I can barely beat on Pro-Am. So that needs to be kind of fine-tuned because it's either all or nothing, <laughs> it seems like. And uh, if online racing is not a thing, then I need the AI to be perfect for replayability options here. I'm not going to be playing this, I'm not going to be streaming it if the game just doesn't have any longevity. And last but not least, the races automatically start without being prompted. Now, let's say I start in arcade mode championship. Um, I complete race one. All of a sudden, I have a phone call that I need to take, and I forget to pause because I'm going through the XP system, and it's, it's showing me that I was on the podium and everything. Well, then it starts to boot up race two. And when it boots up race two, it says, you know, it'll say uh, Maple Ridge, 20 laps. And the next thing you know, the race just starts. I wish there was a way where it says, you know, press A to continue or something so it doesn't just put your ass into a wall and you come back and the AI is already six laps in and there's no way to restart the race because there's no restart button. So all of these things just tend to blend together and I think if these five things were fixed, obviously this would be an enjoyable game. This would be an excellent racing experience. And uh, so what are your thoughts? What do, you, what do you think? Have you played this game yet? If so, let me know your thoughts down below. And uh, yeah, make sure to stick around because I have much more coming. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.